to this week's assembly. One of the school's values is respect, and I can think of no better way of showing that than kindness to others. Kindness comes in many forms, but I feel that as a nation we have taken kindness to new heights during the coronavirus, ep coronavirus epidemic by looking after one another. Last Monday, as part of the delay stage of the coronavirus imported by the government, we have had greater restrictions on our freedom. These, whilst difficult, need to be maintained to protect everyone. People will still be showing symptoms now from contacts before the schools were closed. Streets are quiet, McDonald's restaurants are shut and children are staying in with parents who are working from home. Volunteering has become the new craze. From NHS volunteers to people collecting shopping for elderly neighbours, the British people have come out in droves. Even a project to transfer records of rainfall for the last 100 years is going faster than anyone could have hoped, simply due to the number of people that are helping as keyboard volunteers. You may not be able to do some of these things yourselves because you're too young, but you could help in other ways. You might want to cook tea, do the washing or hang it out on the line. Tidy the house or your bedroom a little bit better than you would do normally. Or cut the grass and help out in other ways around the home. Hopefully, for some of the time, you've been accessing the student portal. You should have all been able to log on by now and start some of the work. All departments have worked really hard to try and get work on there in a really short space of time. I myself would like to thank them, and I'm sure you would too, in trying to get so much work there for you. And I know many of you have emailed staff this week to ask questions and ask for clarification on some of the things that you've wanted to do. If you have any problems, please just contact uh, the IT team or look at the videos and help tasks that Mr Stokes has prepared on there for you. Those tutorials are supposed to be ones that you can do independently to try and help you out. They're on the right hand side of the screen when you log into the portal. If you get a little bit bored with the work that's been provided, you can go online and see some of the fantastic resources that people around the country have put on as alternatives. At nine o'clock every day, you can have PE with the self-proclaimed nation's PE teacher, Joe Wicks, and he does a workout about 20 minutes uh, every single morning to get you uh, energized and woken up. You could follow that with a little bit of maths with Carol Vorderman, or you could go on things like Corbett Maths or Maths Watch, just so that you're ticking over those skills uh, in the absence of your maths teachers. At 11 o'clock, David Williams is reading some of his books uh, every day, um, so you could participate in that. He's also released a number of titles uh, free of charge on the internet. And by going to his website, you'll be able to see it. At midday, you might want to think about some food. So how about get involved with Jamie Oliver with some of his ideas for cooking with kids. Simple recipes that get you in the kitchen and might give yourself a little bit of fun. At one o'clock, you could try music classes with Miley in class. Um, she's put all these things on uh her YouTube channel uh, and you might want to dip into that if you're creative and musical in that direction. You might want a little bit more dance. Uh, Darcy Bussell, her da Diverse Dance Academy is on Facebook uh, and she's done little routines and I know many of you use things like TikTok already to record short little things to make your, your friends laugh uh, on social media. You could do a little bit of uh, history research. You can sign up for 30 days for free uh, and look into uh, some special areas of interest for yourselves 
or link it to the programs of study that you've got in school uh, with Miss Pinches, Miss Gray uh, or Miss Norgrave. And finally, you might want to cook an evening meal and the O-Cooks uh, are on Instagram and you might want to tune into them Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 4pm uh, to get that evening meal sorted. Now, we have got GCSE Pod, and I know that many of you have already got involved. We'd love to see more of you involved in that, particularly Year 10. Um, we're worried that uh, at this critical time for you, uh, in the middle of your GCSE programme, that you need to be doing as much work as possible. Uh, and we can track every week who's at the top of the leaderboard for the total streams uh, that you've had and the total downloads. Congratulations to those six students who've appeared this week. Miss Moore would like to congratulate the following four students uh, for their work and their effort over the, the course of last week. Um, and she's going to produce uh, a list every week of saying how well you've done. And I'm sure that once staff see that a number of people have done this, then they'll want to recognise your efforts while you've not been at school. Miss Britain star students uh, are beneath her name uh, and they've done a brilliant job and she's very, very impressed with those. She's been emailing those regularly um, as they've provided her with work and wanted some feedback. Miss Keeley has done an Easter egg competition. Uh, the prizes are there in front of you. She's doing that through Facebook uh, and if you want to join up with Facebook uh, and follow Smesto School, you'll be able to see lots of advice and guidance of what to do for your own mental health and keeping well, uh, as well as lots of things and resources that you can be busy with during the time that you're not in school. So we've got to think about coronavirus too. You've still got those key messages that we want you to follow as much as possible so that if you do go out of the house and you uh, go shopping essential times, uh, you'll be able to keep yourselves and other people as safe as possible. And finally, the gu guidance from the government is down the left hand side of the screen. Hopefully that will keep you safe and well. And I, as well as every member of staff at Team Smesto, wants you to make sure that you stay safe and well and stay positive at home um, while everything's going on. The whole country is working together and I'm sure if we stick together, uh, both as families and communities, we'll conquer this finally together.